in nature complicated, we'll try keeping this simple. This is the land under contention, the lazy lizard operated at the split and the land surrounding it. Emer Paris is the proprietor and has been since 2008 on a rental contract basis. His contract was recently renewed in 2013. I have my contract right here with me. My contract stating right here. Stating right here when I get the contract and when it will determine. 2013, June 1st, 2018, May 31st, my contract is over. But owner Dan Nichols told Paris a few months ago that he had sold the split and that Paris would have to vacate the premises. But Paris says that the property has not been sold, so his contract is being breached. As well, he says that the property has to be sold for I get a 90 days notice and the property is not being sold. Not being sold has a caution on it. The JP knows that they, what they are doing is wrong because he's the power of attorney for Dan Nichols for all his properties here in Kikakar. And I think he's supposed to go over the contract and read it very carefully. The JP Paris is referring to is Javier Novello, who has power of attorney for owner Dan Nichols. On Monday, Novello and some others who are allegedly the new operators at the split broke into the Lazy Lizard and removed all Paris's items from his bar and storeroom. On Monday, Monday, five minutes after 12 midday, I was going to Belize City to have a meeting with my lawyer and I took the 12 o'clock San Pedro Belize Express ferry. Not even five minutes that I took the ferry, the JP and these other three guys in, that you could see on the cameras that I have catching them came in and cut my legs breaking and take out my stuff. The JP, actually you could see the JP just showing them, go ahead with their finger, go ahead, break the locks and what's not. It's a shame, it's a shame to see this. We have Belizeans trying to work hard to go up, to live a better life for having foreigners that just coming here, like these guys coming, breaking down the locks and saying that they have more bows than we Belizeans, something is wrong with them. The guy you see here in the surveillance video, cutting the locks with a grinder and breaking into the establishment, is Peter Schmidt, seen here on this picture. He is being helped by another man identified as Robert Kane. The Justice of the Peace, Javier Novello, is also caught on video inside the establishment. That matter is in police hands, since it is breaking and entering and a criminal charge. But let's get back to the split, where Perez says he has invested nearly $200,000 in the past few years. This place was in a mess. A mess. The water in front, the the water, the land facing the east side or facing the reef, the water was way up close to the big building, coming close up. I had to refill that, put a seawall, refill it with my money, with my savings that I had in. I took my savings and I started to fix the place, the property itself. Because every time we have a bad weather coming, a little tropical wave, tropical storm or what's not, it would erode, erode more and more. On the, on the east, side of the property facing the reef, I fill that up. I put boulders in front of the seawall. I fill it up with sand. On the west, southwest of the property as well, I fill that up as well. And that took me two years now. It has two years now. Paris also built a new bathroom at a cost of 25000 as well as a deck around the property where tourists can hang out and sunbathe or, as these local and foreign visitors are doing, catch some snappers. We got the impression that Paris knows he'll have to go eventually, but he wants it to be on what he says are fair terms. What I want is to get paid for the rest of my contract and for the days that the business is closed. So my liar will deal with that for me, with them, if they have any liar or with the owner itself. The owner is supposed to be coming this month, I don't know which date, but he's supposed to be coming this month. That's what he told me the other day when I spoke to him. And he said, we want to negotiate. It is a shame because I've known Imar for so many years running this place. And he's actually saved my son's life here when my son was drowning a year and a half ago. And sometime a passer in my boat, he would be dumping loads and loads and loads of sand in this place, infrastructure in this place, making it nice. This place wasn't like this many years ago. He filled the whole place up because the place was like not really nice for tourists to come lay down on the ground and stuff. He filled it up, dredged it up. He built the seawalls, make it nice and neater for people. He put the 
foundation so they can lay on and stuff. He's a nice guy and we don't want them to take away the split from him at all. Apart from the illegal breaking and entering, Paris's liquor license was also revoked since it is in the name of owner Dan Nichols. So the business is effectively closed, though Paris isn't ready to go anywhere just yet. Mike Rodon for News 5.